Dot matrix method, also known as the dot plot method, is a graphical method of sequence alignment that involves comparing two sequences by plotting them in a two-dimensional matrix. In a dot matrix, two sequences that must be compared are plotted along a matrix horizontal and vertical axis. The method then scans each residue of one sequence to identify similarities with all residues in the other sequence. If a residue in one sequence matches a residue in the other sequence, a dot is placed in the corresponding position in the matrix, otherwise the matrix position is left blank. As you can see right over here, G matches perfectly with G, so I will place a dot right over here. But when I move to the next part where it's written a T, I will not place any dot. So in this way, we will continue placing dots in our matrix. So first starting with this G over here, we placed a dot and we don't find any other G in the second sequence, hence this line will be left empty. Now we are moving on to the next letter which is A for us and we will look for A in the next sequence. If let's say we find A over here, we will place a dot right over here. So let's see. Now I have placed all the dots where I was finding corresponding A in the second sequence like this. And in this way, we will move from one letter to the next and we will compare all the residues with each residue of one sequence to identify similarities with all the residues in the other sequence. So in this way, we completed the next line and I have placed all the dots in this matrix. Okay, And usually the next step after this is to find the diagonal lines and trace them. So right over here is the continuous diagonal line I have found. Remember the dots have to be continuous, only then a line is placed. So in this way I will find all the diagonal lines and I will trace them. And this is another diagonal line, this is the next diagonal line and this right over here. So. If the two sequences be compared are highly similar, the dot plot will display as a single line along the matrix main diagonal. As you can see in this diagram, the both the sequences were highly similar, so there is a continuous single line along the diagonal. However, when the sequences are less similar, the dot plot will show more scattered dots with fewer diagonal lines indicating that the sequences share less similarity. So let's see what the conserved regions are. As you can see that for this diagonal line, this corresponds to T, T, C, T, A and T. Similarly, in the Y sequence, this is T, T, C, T, A, T. Dot plots can also find repeat elements in a single sequence. Short parallel lines above and below the make diagonal indicate the presence of repeats. For example, in this example over here, which corresponded to T, T, C, T, A, T, we have another line which is right above the main diagonal, which is this right over here, and it corresponds to T, C, T, A. So you can see that this right over here is also present in our T, C, T, A, like T, C, T, A right over here. So you can see that it has found a repeat element in this sequence over here which corresponds and repeats itself two times in the second sequence. This repeat element right over here is repeating itself for the first time here in the second sequence and the second time right over here. So the lines which are above and below the main diagonal are actually the repeat elements that dot plot highlights. So I hope this video was helpful for you and you were able to draw a dot matrix for your own sequences. This is just like a game. It's just so easy. If you have any problems, you can tell me in the comments. Goodbye.